Check this out. We could be superheroes and thank you for tuning in this is a continuation on my morning routine I had a few videos back linked up above I recommend and I thought I'd bring you guys through my evening routine I will say one thing some people will be more productive in the evening some people are more productive in the morning and I say play around and find out what works for you and utilize that personally I'm a morning person I can get up and be super productive for my first few hours of the day so I make sure a lot more of my organizational type and productivity are focused there and I make my evening routine more about relaxation, unwinding and getting ready for the next day in that sense. Some people are flipped. Their morning routine should just be about a quick way to focus themselves, relax before they start on their day and then worry about being really productive at night and have some time to unwind. Find out what works for you and then here's a little insider of what I do to unwind after a productive day and make sure I'm really relaxed so I can get a great sleep. I like to start every evening just setting the mood, really relaxing, kind of have my environment around me just be relaxing and stress-free and lighting the candles one way. And then I like to go and do some journaling or gratitude journaling or write a big to-do list. That's one thing I love to do right before I go to bed. Just write a giant to-do list of every single thing possibly I need to do in the next while. And then it's on paper. I know I can handle in the morning and it's not wandering in my mind as I try and fall asleep and that way you know, you have those thoughts like, oh, I need to do this and this and this that keeps us up at night. It's a good way of just kind of putting it all on paper so you don't have to worry about it. Talked in my morning routine, how I do gratitude journaling. I also sometimes just like to do it at night if I have a really good day and I just want to be thankful. So I just even just as simple as writing three things I'm grateful for. So I kind of bounce that around sometimes do that in the morning, sometimes do that at night. And then I also just like to journal in general sometimes. I'm not committed to doing anything. Specifically, I just like to, I always do the to-do list and then I just like to write down some thoughts and things and just let them get on paper, unwind from the day and just kind of a nice conclusion to my day I always do. So the to-do list though is the one that I just always, always make sure to do. Then I also like to read at night. That's another thing I definitely do is um, I listen to audiobooks a lot, as you know, but in the evening is when I actually like to read because I try to avoid screen time as much as possible. Just a little bit with Trevor. Uh, so what things I do to avoid that is journaling, gratitude journaling, writing my to-do list, also reading actual books, not audiobooks, not articles on my computer or on my phone that emit light of any sorts. Then I also have this journal, which is kind of a summary of my self-development, whether whatever I learned from that day from an audiobook or anything I read, anything like that, I like to just drop down some notes before I go to bed, just so I have a place for all the lessons I've learned and what I really took away from those books. It's not necessarily what the author is trying to portray to me, like it's not a summary of uh, the author's opinions, but it's a summary of what I learned and found most beneficial. And that way, whenever I'm feeling lost or confused or just want a refresher of things that I find very important to me, I can go back and just read this without actually having to reread the whole entire book and just kind of organization of my thoughts. So that is how I like to spend the evening. Next up, I do love to have a nice warm cup of tea before bed. David's tea is my favorite. Uh, my favorite pumpkin chai and then peanut butter cup and they have a few others but I like to pour a nice cup of tea on. Um, I know you can have like relaxation teas and all that. I don't know if those are placebos or whatnot. I just think it's very soothing and just once again adds to that whole environment of just warmth and comfort. I love this creamer. It's so good. It tastes just like Cinzio Cinnabon or whatever you have. So I just kind of sip on that and I will watch some TV with Trevor maybe like half an hour at the most I don't watch too much, but it is a nice time to unwind He's not featured in this because that's for our eyes only and I am a firm believer that you can eat at night It's calories during the entire day. It's not in the morning night So if I am hungry, I will definitely have a snack I don't like to spend a ton of money on food So cereal and milk is an easy and cheap way to get some delicious carbs and yeah, I have carbs at night uh, it's all about your total macros and calories for the day, so if I have some leftover or if I'm just starving, that's what I do and enjoy a nice little treat. And then blow up my candle and then I move on to more of uh, organization for the next day. So I pick out my outfits. I like to do this because you know I love fashion, so I love to just spend some time to really put together an outfit. It is something I'm very passionate about. It's kind of a little area of creativity for me and it's also because in the morning I'm groggy, I just want to get up and go and not think about stuff like that. So right now I can just be creative and not really worry too much about like specific organization and productivity. So I just have that outfit ready to go. I put all my stuff in my bag. 
I always make sure to have a water bottle, otherwise I forget always. And so I have my bag set up so I don't have to worry about scrambling in the morning. I tidy up the home a little bit. I try and do this throughout the day, but just little things so I can just go to bed and the house feels clean and relaxed. I like to do also just a bit of foam rolling if I'm excessively sore. I've been trying to really work on my mobility lately and just preventing any injuries because unfortunately I've suffered a few and they are very frustrating to deal with. I've had knee injuries and had surgery actually into my basketball career, so I'm very careful now to make sure my mobility is checked. Next up, how I end my day is with my beauty routine, and this just helps me relax so much. No, I don't use self care. I just thought that'd be funny to throw in that's actually Trevor stuff. So that is the body wash I use. The shampoo and conditioner I use is Bum Bum Bumble. That's a personal favorite, and my hairdresser recommended it for my extensions. It has no damage on it. Then I will also wash my face in the shower. I just use a pretty much standard cleanser and while I am showering for bed I like to listen to an audiobook or podcast or another choice. Tim Ferriss is usually my go-to but there's a bunch of other ones on there I like as well. I have a whole video about the podcast I like if you want to check that out or sometimes I just don't want to think. I just want to zone out and listen to some music while I relax in the evening right before bed. Some nice slow jams. I also like listening to country music right before bed. I like to put on a comfy outfit. Nothing crazy. It's usually just like sports gear sweatpants or my cozy cozy robe which is the softest thing in the world my mom got me and just like i said it's all about relaxation for me right before bed so i can really get quality sleep that's so important for our health and no i only wash my hair like once a week so i'm putting it up thanks to that dry shampoo and extensions is not good to do every day so before i shower i put it all in this weird contraption up top so i only have to wash my hair once or twice at the very most a week honestly i only wash it once a week can't really tell luckily my extensions kind of help me out there the extra thickness so I tie it up here and then I hop in the shower maybe I should rock that to the club one day <laughs> just kidding so into the shower I go yes I'm an evening shower because I don't have like a specific job to go to or anything so I don't have to shower before once a week I use this exfoliating mask once or twice you just put it on it's hard at first and you um mix it with some water and then it's got to exfoliate. You leave it on for 10 minutes, then you put some more water or water on, exfoliate and wash it off. Follow that with this Glam Glow, talked about in my uh, October favorite, so check that out. As you can see, it's more of a heavy cream than an actual mask and I leave that on for about half an hour or sometimes I'll leave it on all night and it's just, it just gives you a little bit of tingles. Then I make sure to moisturize before bed. That's usually my go-to, but I was out. Glaxo Base, my mom always sends me, she loves it. And <laughs> I think she was, forever tried to have been like, Kelty, moisturize, moisturize, and I wasn't good at it, but now I'm getting better because I'm trying to prevent wrinkles rather than have to deal with them when they're here, and yeah, prevent your, and then once a week, I also, sometimes twice a week, self-tan, I use St. Tropez, I use their mousse, that's what it looks like, and that way I can avoid tanning beds. As for a skin, like topical cream, I have this prescribed by a dermatologist that I use once a week, it's just like a pea drops sign, uh, amount that is put on my T-zone, and that has really helped with um, just acne and that. So if you do have acne prone skin or just a few pimples, go to a dermatologist. They can help out. So while that's settling in, I brush my teeth. I don't think it's anything fancy. I'm no dentist, so I'm not going to give any tips. And I follow it by a moisturizer. This one I just got from Olay. Like I said, it's to help with uh, wrinkles and whatnot. Obviously, I don't have wrinkles. I'm still in my 20s. But I want to prevent them. So that is what I'm trying to do right now. And I've noticed it's actually helped my skin quality so much and discoloration. And I moisturize two to three times a day my face. And then I use Eye Envy. I just apply it like you would eyeliner. And I use it twice a day. And that's to help your eyelashes grow. And just some moisture for your lips. As I can say, I believe in moisturizing. I cannot preach that enough. Now I do have hair extensions. So I do have to take a bit of care of them. They're not that demanding because I do have naturally straight hair. I just have to make sure to brush them before I go to bed. I section off the different things. Make sure to hold at the top. And so you brush it out and that doesn't pull. And then I put it into a loose ponytail. And there is my clean skin. I have a bit of red eyes, but I'll put Vaseline on if I notice. Another, my pillow is my sanctuary. I have a silk pillow for my hair. And then I have this cool gel pillow, memory foam. Me and Trevor splurged and got it and is worth every penny. It actually stays cool at night. I turn then close off my blinds so no light comes in. I love my throw pillows, but they have no use. Get those out of the bed. Trevor always makes so much fun, but I do not want a bunch in the bed. So then, yeah, kind of winding down, get ready for bed. The last thing I do before I go to sleep is I have something called the Sleep Cycle app, and I do recommend it. It's just a way to track your sleep. 
and it uh, also allows you to wake up peacefully. It has a very slow clock that takes about 15 minutes, half an hour, and it slowly, progressively gets louder. So it's not a sudden BAM! You're awake. It just gradually wakes you up so you feel more rested and so you can see how your sleep patterns are. And I think that's really cool you know, that we have technology to use to monitor our health because we obviously can't all live in labs. I double check that it's not PM and AM. And then you put it upside down so the light of your phone isn't there. And then that is my evening routine so I can get a great night.